Hello, I'm Ed and welcome back to another episode of Bilk. In today's episode, you join me here in the foothills of Beaver Castle in the South Nottinghamshire countryside as we test the real world MPG of the TVR Cerbera 4.2 V8. The engine that we have in my Cerbera is the 4.2. So let's have a look what that looks like. The interesting thing about my Cerbera, actually, it is a 4.5, <laughs> which is something that I didn't know when I bought the car. Even though the car was sold to the original owners and obviously to myself as a 4.2, knowing that it's a 4.5, I'm glad that it is. This car is a 2005 Cerbera it was number seven of the last Cerberus that were ever made. So let's go fill it up and see what MPG this monster actually gets. Right, so tank is absolutely brimmed to the top. We're gonna to go inside and get a Costa and then we're gonna look at the map and make sure we know where we're going. We've planned the route, time to jump in the car and let's have some fun. Because what we wanted to do, we wanna make sure that we're doing this real world. The best way to do that is to drive it how I would drive it on the weekends when I actually take it out for a spin. This is obviously normal motorway driving just to get a really good average, let's say, because this is probably the most efficient it's going to be. Then we've got a bit of a spirited drive, let's call it, through some country roads. Um, and then we've got some spirited drive roads back to the petrol station beyond that. So that is, we've calculated it to be exactly 30 miles. And that 30 miles is going to give us a good understanding of, of sort of the realistic, real world driving, um, weekend driving, let's say, uh, results of an MPG test. <laughs> Oops, tight. God, that noise is We just pulled over a uh, village of Canulton, Nottinghamshire. Beautiful, tranquil British village made noisy by the loud machine. We're about halfway through our trip now. We've gone down the motorway. We've done some spirited driving as best we could round these beautiful sort of country lanes. The difficulty was we caught the back end of tractors and traffic and things like that. So actually, it is very real world because that happens all the time, but it does mean that we've not got a true spirited drive out of the car yet. We're just going to fit a few more cameras and different angles onto the car and then we're going to get going. Car feels tip top. Big shout out to the guys at Powers TVR in, uh, in Coventry. It's never put a foot wrong it just hasn't so Dom and uh, and the guys thank you very much just uh, cruising along um, after we had to do a bit of a stop off because the GoPro fell off the bonnet so we had to go pick that up from the verge but for now we're over to Beaver Castle and we'll catch back up with you guys in a bit So, the TVR Cerbera. This is a steel frame chassis car, very similar to my Ginetta race car. Lightweight, there's no solid bodywork structure. And then on top of that tubular chassis, fiberglass. It's all fiberglass bodywork. This car is unbelievably light. The Cerbera came with a choice of the in-house designed four litre straight six engine. There were also 
two V8s, a 4.2 developing between 360 and 370 horsepower in a car that weighs less than my shirt is an unbelievable power to weight ratio. And then if you are absolutely tapped, there is the 4.5 V8, putting out numbers above 400 horsepower. Might not sound a lot by today's standards, but back in 1995, this car was an absolute supercar killer. So we are homeward bound on our MPG excursion. It's been an amazing day, exactly what this car was designed to do. Put a smile on your face on a sunny day in the British countryside and go for a drive. Um, couldn't have asked for more. However, back to the point at hand, MPG. So we're now heading back to the Shell garage where we filled up and brimmed up earlier on and we're going to get there and try and brim the tank again and find out what the true MPG of this car actually is. We've just got back. That's literally it. That's brimmed it. I'm just going to do a double check. That's it. Brimmed it. A 30 mile round trip has done 6.91 litres. We're going to have a sandwich, have a coffee and we're going to do this calculation and find out what is the MPG on this TVR Cerbera. We've got the information here. So 6.91 liters of fuel that has been used. We know our round trip was 30 miles. We did lose a GoPro and we had to backtrack down the road to go get it. We also have factored in going backwards and forwards, getting some nice drone shots and flybys. We've allowed two extra miles for that. Uh, I'm interested to know in the comments below before I say anything, what people think is actually gonna be the result. You've seen on the footage, you know, I wasn't shy. I was giving it some gas. Uh, I am shocked by this. I cannot believe the number. It, I, we've, we've triple checked it because we're a bit shocked. The 4.2 V8 Cerbera has done 21 MPG on this afternoon's drive out. How the hell can a 4.2 litre V8 supercar killing British sports car do 21 miles to the gallon. And the only thing I can think is of because how light the car is. It's 1100 kilograms. And because it's so light, that has to be the thing that is making it so possible to get that pretty astronomical MP MPG. I, I mean, I, I think I'm gonna daily it. That's, that's better than the bloody Defender. So there we have it, 21 MPG from a 4.2 naturally aspirated V8. Unbelievable, supercar performance, and now we know we could use it as a daily if we wanted to. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to smash that like button. It really helps us understanding that we're producing content that you're enjoying. And of course, we'd love to hear your comments in the section below. Let us know if there's any more ideas that we could do with the TVR, any more tests we could put it through. We'd love to hear your thoughts. And always, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and find the notification bell so that you will be notified when new videos come live. As always, from me, Ed, and all the team at Bilk, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.